Hey, 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 my name is Paul Vincent. Welcome to the reality. Let's see how the testing of the, the testing of the new gaming system will go on. Also, I'm still sick. Alright. And this is where the magic will happen, the testing room. As you can see, we want you to be as soft as possible using the penta. Excuse me. Sorry, folks. Coming through. Excellent. There you are. How close are we? I don't remember if he looked that that way or differently. Whatever. Very close. To the X ring final multisim. Then we'll be online. Oh, hey, folks. I'm Excel, hardware specialist. Oh, so, so 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 how does the hardware work? Well, other than the neural chip, the hardware is pretty much your standard VR headset. The neural chip is the hardware that reads and writes electromagnetic brain signals. While it is impressive, the real magic is in the software, which determines what signals create what sensor input and output. So if it's like a typical setup, is that wall panel the main processor? Yeah, exactly. How long it take to upgrade the Penta from the pre-alpha prototype tried at Semicon? It's just me on hardware, so it takes a little to while to make revisions, but we've been lucky that we've been no schedule. So how many will actually work here? There are four of us myself, Excel, Harriet, who is our marketing relations specialist, and Jacob Lazar, the founder. The mastermind. Mr. Lazar handled most of the technical design and programming himself. Are you telling me, us? That lizard made a panda single handedly? No, I wouldn't say that without us. That's incredible. And I heard that development only started years ago. Yeah, that is. So, do we get to meet Mr. Lazar? He will be accompanying you during your testing. Oh, is that why there are extra chairs in here? Yeah, I. Did Lazar treat the University of Oslo's paper? Why didn't you? Is there a release date yet? I'm curious about. Please! Please, everyone! I appreciate that you're all excited. But save your questions for the briefing. Sir Lesser will be available shortly. In the meantime, let's give Axel some space and wait out front. Lit has entered chat. So, guys, I'm about to meet the person who made the best VR tech there is. Alright, how about you don't overhype it already, okay? Lily Light, Lily, how about you don't do that? You know, overhyping really destroys the market, and people tend to buy shitty games because of that. So, also technologies are the same here, so don't do this. And I'm serving that maybe this Jacob Lessard isn't human. Hey. Lol. Seriously, fun. what kind of person develops ultra realistic sci fi level VR? On their own. He developed it alone? Basically. Sounds impossible, right? Hmm. Maybe he has an army of comp scientists slaving away in the basement. Maybe he's secretly a magician. He will just magic the VR into your minds. No tech needed. I don't think he's going to give us a briefing soon. Uh, so we know. But right now we're just sitting around in the stuff room. Spending the coffee and being bored. Private chat with stars and opened. Why is he writing to her? What's the reason? Hey, so is this a little bit crazy, or is it just me? It's past time to start now. Hi, mm, we're in the same room, in real life. Lol, yeah, but this way intermans can't hear us. God damn it. Uh, I. Not about 
what's happening, okay? Don't worry. True. Yeah, it's a little strange. Makes me wonder if they've got it together or what. I'm super excited about the whole thing. But I'll definitely be listening closely to the briefing. Yeah. What are you going to ask about? I've definitely got a lot of questions. Mm, not sure. Technology. Risks. Stuff like that. Not sure. Uh, I have so many questions. Technology. I've always loved computer science. I want to know about some of the technical stuff. Risks. I ask her some bit curious, but I want to know more about how risky the technology is. What am I getting myself into? Uh, I think this one might be the, uh, the, the, the one I would be asking about. I mean, with risks, you can ask about technology, I guess. Or something like that. Uh, let's go risks. I guess it would be good to hear the potential risks involved. Yeah, it would be crazy to not participate after coming all this way. Yeah, it was a long trip for me. You too, I guess. You said you came from North Carolina? Yeah. What's it like there? Never been to the part of the country. Same. Uh, this is gonna sound weird. But I don't get out a lot. Lately. Uh, what am I saying? I sound super lame right now. Tell him something about NC. I mean, NC is pretty. I used to go to the beach in the summertime with my family. That was nice. Now this has been playing Grimms a lot. Could be anywhere, honestly. Lol. I get it. Sorry, that was a weird question. No problem. So, do you think of the latest Realms update? Pretty sick, huh? What update? Yeah. I love the updated skill tree. Yeah, the skill trees are race. I'm a water mage, but I've got all these skills that make me sort of wrong like. Awesome. Hey, I'm a mage too. Lightning. Just reached level 198. Hmm. Ah. And he's like, oh my god, I'm such a noob. Why did I even start the conversation about this game with her? It was such a bad idea. That's what he's thinking right now. I'm sure that's... It's like that. Not sure if I will ever get to 198. Yeah, I bet that requires a lot of grinding. Like, truly a lot of grinding. Like, I don't even problem. Yeah, I don't have time for that kind of grinding. That's pretty badass. No, it's. I don't know if I say that if I be able to say something like that. But okay, let's say it is. <laughs> hey, what kind of visitor is that? It looks pretty cool. Hey, hey, she's talking to me all of a sudden. Hey, it's a Cerulean S4. Oh, that's the S4, huh? I consider getting a Cerulean, but end up with the Nova. What's the speed like? Do the specs live up to the hype? <laughs> Respond, Snoop. What hype? Uh, Mike seems kind of scared, but things are going alright today. I could chat with her a bit. I can do this. Mike seems kind of scary. I don't think I want to chat. If we go up from my mind, view to snoop around the testing room. Yeah, I've been pretty happy with it. 
<laughs> oh, you did it. Uh, the speed is good, but the battery life to charge radio is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, like how bad? I get 18 to 1. Whoa, that doesn't only get 10 to 2. Uh, maybe it's worth it for the higher that specs, but whoa, I think I made the right choice. That's probably true. Max has really loud voice, but I guess she's not that scary after all. I wanna see that tattoo for. And when are we gonna make a VR visor that's truly well rounded? Seriously. Gotta go with the agents, or if you want well rounded. Yeah, but they can't really compete with the S4. So, no, it will not work, man. I don't know, the specs might not be as high, but they say the HNS. HNS are better plans that might be just as fast in some situations. Plus, they are a lot cheaper and charge faster. Well, sounds like they are. As into VR as I am. Well, you don't say, huh? I mean, I'd say people who applied for a freaking VR testing of something that uh, a lot of people would be afraid to test would be into that a lot. <laughs> yeah, but the HNs are kind of flimsy, right? Why do you say that? You know, I just heard that they don't last long. My brother heard one that fell apart after like eight months. I've had mine for two years now. It's been holding up fine. But do you put stress on the system regularly? That can make a big difference. I mean, I play Realms. Realms is pretty taxing. If it can handle that, it can probably handle most things. Yeah, I guess. Still getting an HN has always seemed like a gamble. I've been looking into Serious for my next wife. I wonder if they all play Realms. Should I ask? Would that be a weird thing to say? Do you guys play, play Realms too? You bet! Well, the are there doesn't play realms! Uh, sort of those interests after my high school friends dropped it. Maybe I'll get into it again at some point. Kinda hard to find free time now that I'm in college. I feel on that one. Med school does not need much time for gaming. You're in med school? Yeah, just started in McGill. Kind of questioning my life choices right now. Man, life choices. I'm a sophomore and I'm still undecided. I can think about computer science, but I suck at math. Don't know how that would go down. Not well, probably. I could say something encouraging about computer science. I used to think I was bad at math, but then I realized I was actually really good at logic and that was more important. <laughs> well, now we'll have something more fun to put on your resume. Test to the next generation of VR tech. <laughs> that makes us all awesome, right? I didn't realize this was a car building opportunity. Sure, why not? People put all kinds of crazy stuff on the resumes these days. I hear people put realms achievements on the resumes. That's hilarious. Hey, you could do that. You must be one of the best realms players out there, right? Hey, no way. I'm sure there are lots of people who are better than me. But your party is totally realms famous. Hey? Oh yeah? What party? Uh, the Ventures, led by Nevan Bow. Oh, I've heard of them. This is weird, Amber. I think I feel like a celebrity or something. Are they actually impressed or do they just think I'm a freak? Sorry for the way, everyone. We are ready for you now. It's happening. They're finally ready. Briefings are done. Life chatters. Sir Biggs. Good luck, Lil. Be safe. <laughs> and that is why you are here to test the Penta and the Vitalia simulation with a large number of players over a long period of time. You know, four people is not the large of group. I will accompany you with the simulation. Other members of Indermans may join us to observe. We'll take regular breaks for meals and to gather feedback over the next three days. If there are any questions, ask them now. Then I will go over the safety briefing. Whoa, 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 what are the risks involved? Hmm. 
I am about to address those in safety briefing. Are there no questions not related to safety? Oh, that was kind of harsh. Why is he so grumpy? Isn't he happy, happy we're here? What comes next is Vitaly, exactly. I played the prototype briefly, but at Senecon will be like that. Yeah, with Holia is a simple simulation. There is not much gameplay yet. It will seem similar to the prototype, but the technology has been improved in subtle ways you may not or may not notice. All questions? Is it really basically got the entire band on your own? Hmm, the code base was created by me, but I had support from the Interman's team, and there has been plenty of prior research in this field. I have a question about that. Yes. Did you read, did you read the University of Oslo's paper on neural interference, uh, interfaces? It came out just about a year ago. You mentioned consulting with a doctor for safety reasons. Yeah. A fascinating read, but the panda was derived from an entirely different substructure, and so it's only tangentially related. Other questions? So do you consult with a doctor? Do you have a release date for the panda? One question time, please. We are aiming for a small day, a simultaneous release of the panda technology and the vital simulation by the next auto. Anything else? He seems in a hurry to get through this, like he doesn't want to be talking to us. I'm curious how you got into this, Mr. Lessard. I mean, I heard that you have a degree from MIT, but how did you decide to do this? Just wake up one day and decide to make cutting edge VR tech? How did I decide to make the panda? Hmm. Well, like many of you, I assume virtuality has always been deeply fascinating me. I've been. I've been interested in, in works like Vitalia since I was a young child. As I grew older and my skills developed, I realized my true calling was to, to, to share these words with others. Weird, he's stumbling over his words all of a sudden. He was so confident before. What about? That's all we have time for at the moment. Let's go over the same precautions before we begin. Hey. hey. Didn't we already sign a long liability agreement before we agreed to come here? Yeah, and I think even talked about the possibility of brain damage and stuff. What? Are you serious? I didn't actually read the whole thing. TLD right now. There are a few things I need to brief you on. This will cover the most essential points of the liability agreement, if anyone didn't read it as carefully as they should have. First of all, the pen is not like the other virtual reality devices. Other devices present real outside simuli to your senses for them to interpret in the same way you normally experience the world. But the Penta will manipulate your brain waves, fooling your senses into believing they are receiving sim stimuli that are not truly there. Hey. Max is looking at her phone. Is she not paying attention? She was the one asking about safety earlier. For all intents and purposes, your mind will be existing in our world. I want a virtual stimuli. stimuli. Well, yeah, that's kind of. The definition of zero virtual technology, isn't it? Oh, I guess she was listening after all. With this type of experience, there can be an initial shock to the senses, especially with this latest build of the Penta, as opposed to the prototype versions. Hmm, let's start ignoring Max's comment. This is called immersion shock. Be prepared to feel disoriented, dizzy, or slightly ill at first. That should pass within the first few moments. Secondly, if the immersion shock does not pass quickly, or if anything at all feels wrong, log out immediately. Do not attempt to endure it. You will not be able to physically remove the headset while immersed, but the Penta features must thought recognition if desire to be logged out, and you will be. Eh? <laughs> Penny struck me! He's still a flashard! Uh, he looked away, but why? Was I doing something right? I'm just sitting here. Hmm. Thought recognition? If necessary, I can force log out anyone, but if the logout command does not come from the user, it can lead to reverse immersion shock. Reverse immersion shock? It's what it sounds like. Returning to reality can also surprise your senses. Once we become accustomed to Italia, but it's not a constraint the user is prepared for it. How do you get prepared for it? If you choose to log out yourself, log, log yourself out, you'll obviously be prepared for it. Lastly, this is the most important thing I will say to you today. Do not leave the starting island. The starting island is a very large area, more than sufficient to occupy your time over the next three days. 
You may see barriers to other islands. Do not cross them. They lead to areas that are buggy and dangerous. The dangers could inflict damage on your sensory systems or brain. What did I tell you? Oh my god! Elias looks kind of dumbfounded. Did he not realize that this could be risky? We are about to do something that does have a risk of danger, if no more. So then, most adventure activities, such as skiing. This is a serious decision. If anyone wishes to opt out of the testing, now is the time. I'm not sure. I'll give you five minutes to think it over, lost not time. How dangerous is it, really? Like, real talk. Hmm. We have had excellent results testing the Pentas for. I personally spent a large amount of time in Italy. Did Lester just glare at me? Now, what am I thinking? Am I I'm imagining things? Why am I paying so much attention to everyone? Get together, Liga. You want to try Neural VR forever? Focus on why we're here. But this is not like other gaming systems. You need to decide whether you are willing to take this risk. I'll be back in 5 minutes. Hey! Hey! Let's try something, huh? Yeah, not what I was expecting, actually. He's so... So... Uninterested? <gasps> yeah! I mean, we came all this way. You would think he'd be a little excited or something. Maybe he's just antisocial. He's apparently some kind of computer genius. Isn't that a stereotype, lol? I guess. But the way he talked about brain damage, it was like he didn't particularly care if anything did happen to us. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. Probably, probably just his normal attitude. Hmm. What kind of normal attitude is that? I seriously have to wonder if he's an android. Laughing my ass off. You're a lot more lively in chat. Uh, huh? Sorry. I mean, everyone saw the difference in your life, right? It's been five minutes. What do you wish to do? Not going home at this point. I mean, I'm offered. Uh, yeah, I mean it too. It's a little freaky, buddy. I'd so regret if I backed out now. Very well, please lie back and relax. Put in your headsets. Excel will be around to make sure they are fitting properly. And try not to be overly excited at this point. Elevated adrenaline levels can make the immersion shock more intense. Huh, try to not be excited, huh? Might as well ask to not be human. You made the penta for that very purpose, to bring others in. <laughs> I know, I just wish I didn't have to do this. If only I could run away from it all. Stay in Vitalia forever. Forever in the place where I feel most at home. Most wanted. Most right. You would say? <laughs> Impossible. Why? Because. I can I can just And the trace if there's any chance it will fix things I must see it through otherwise I've come this far I need to finish this Maybe finally finally I will see some results And that is more important than anything If it's more important than anything then just do it <laughs> Yeah uh, I just wish it wasn't so detestable. Why do I need to share this? Vitaly is mine. Hey, is it? It's all I have besides money. 
You know that, Kumari. I do believe there is no other way. I know there is no other way. All my research, all these years. You know, I've been living and breathing this since I met you. Since I was, I don't know, seven years old. This is the only way. So yeah, what, you, you have an imaginary cat person friend? I know I need to do this, but I also hate that I need to do it. That makes no sense. What is wrong with me, Kumari? Various answers to the question are, are, pre, uh, are, are possible. The most likely is that at some level you are not as certain of yourself as you claim. You are that all will fail and that your life's work will be wasted. Huh. Check we need you. We start as long as possible. I'm doing what final check, but then you really need to get out of here and uh, get out there. <laughs> I'll be out in a moment, just running one last multi sip. The testers are waiting. I should go. Yet here you remain. Talking to me. Do you believe that if you avoid beating them, they are less real? That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, do I need to explain? No, I understand your meaning. I was simply expressing surprise by repeating you. Oh. Consider this to believe that things you have not yet experienced aren't real. There is logic in that. Is it not crazier to trust that things you have not perceived in fact exist? Hmm. I... I don't know. I don't have patience for your nonsense right now, Kumori. No, then why are you speaking to me? You know, this sort of puzzle is my favorite thing. Hmm. It's not a puzzle. I just need to bury these thoughts and be... Mr. Lessard. Genius programmer. Entrepreneur. Calculating scientist. Good luck, Mr. Lessard. No clue what this is about. The safety briefing is done. They are about to arrive. Do you all know what you're supposed to be doing? Yeah, I do. Don't let the twerps cross the bridge. Ancients witness my bridge will never be breached. <laughs> right. But please be polite. I'll use force if absolutely necessary. If that is your wish, Master Jacob. Uh, and don't call me a master for a while. That might sound weird. How long specifically is a while? Until, mm, until I tell you otherwise. Farewell, Jacob. We are pleased to be of service to you. Huh. Speak for yourself, Umi. Personally, I can't think of any things that would please me more than perching here babysitting human things. Hmm. Oh, must you always be so disagreeable? Oh, stop your tires on Twitter and cow. Sure, I'd rather be skimming over a leg looking for wives to play with, but this for Master Jacob. I have some loyalty, fuzzy fowl. Hmm, I'm more loyal than you could ever hope to be, if I think. Pompous road cheater. Akatsuki, Cole. Can you focus? I've asked you to do a job. Are you prepared? For roughly. Better believe it. <laughs> yes, Jacob. This is ridiculous. If only you had a more reliable way to stop them from crossing the aim bridges. I don't know. Destroy the bridges? Create freaking walls that cannot that won't allow players to cross the bridges or something like that wow things are spinning oh, I can barely see are you okay? it's not like the prototype at all, I feel sick I feel so awesome myself look at this I mean feel this, smell this, it's true, it's like we're really here even the grass under my feet, I wonder if I can pick some of it. If it's so real. 
Hey, I'm not dizzy anymore. Hmm. Oh. Well, did anyone else feel that breeze on their skin? I felt it. The air smells so good. Earthy and clean, too bad like... The ocean? Briny, I guess. Mr. Les, Mr. Lazard said this was a simple, simple simulation. He's insane! I can, I totally just picked a few blades of grass. This is ridiculously interactive. Guys, I'm not so sure about this. You are right? Maybe you should sit down or something? Yeah, hey, where is simulation? He's already lying down in reality. Oh yeah, well, of course, I almost forgot. <laughs> Welcome to Vitalia. I see all you all made it here successfully. Some more successfully than the others, Elias is sick. Listen, Elias, you've only been here a short time, so this could be a perfectly natural transition place. Sit down, close your eyes, and take some deep breaths. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, deep breaths. <laughs> deep breaths. <laughs> Wait, really? That will actually help? Hey, look at those buildings over there! What's with the yellow light? Mm. When I go check it out? Please don't disperse yet. I have a few important things to tell you now that we're here. Or not. How do you feel, Elias? I... Better, actually. Uh, it really feels like I'm sitting here in the grass. It's slightly damp and it smells nice, like grass. <laughs> Brilliant. Is that an ant? There's an ant crawling up this blade of grass? As long as you're not feeling physical ill, you'll be fine. Alright, yeah. How are the rest of you? Mm, I was a little dizzy with first, but now I'm okay. Same here. Usual reaction. I feel great. This is amazing. No immersion shock whatsoever. Whoa, what is that in the sky? What? Look up, it's like a... A massive hollow planet with rings, it's covering right above us. Cool world design, Mr. Lassad. Oh, I wonder if it has a purpose. Wait. I need to test if I can use the mental net. Listen to me for a minute. There are two things you should be aware of before you run off. One is something tentatively named the mental net. It's like a chat room, but highly customizable and mental. Like no interface? Uh, yeah, you only need to focus on projecting your thoughts into the mental net and it will happen. It's easier for some people than others. I'd like you all to please try it now. Wait, what do we do exactly? Just think to yourself, I'd like to say hello in the open mental net, horse. The open mental net. Yeah, you can also do this privately. But for now, don't try to target anyone. Just think something with the intent of it appearing in the mental net, please. Hello? Is this working? Yeah, I can hear you, Ben. Hmm, cool. Arrows quick, people don't usually get the hang of it so fast. Hi? Um, hello? Hey guys! Very good, you can all do it. Crap, why is this on the featured list? This could be a thing all on its own, you could make millions on this imagine possibilities to be able to communicate with anyone telepathically, I mean... Yes, sir, well, this mental net is an obvious, almost trivial extension of the core functionality of the Penta. Right now, we are already communicating telepathically. The Penta is simply relying signals to make us believe we are speaking and hearing each other in a natural way. The mental net just simplifies things a bit. Weird. That's so weird. I guess that makes sense. I hadn't thought about it before. You hadn't thought much, had you? Moving on, secondly, you should know that Vitalia has a population of artificially intelligent beings. They each have a unique personality and special ability, and they are capable of learning through interaction. We plan to build gameplay upon this base in the future. You will be able to gain various creatures' loyalty and help them and their special abilities assist you in your adventures through the Vitalia. 
That sounds so cool. Wow, that would be fun. You're free to explore now. Please use the mental net if you need to communicate over long distances. If you follow me, I can introduce you to one of the creatures. One of the more reliable ones. For the user! I'd like to meet the creature. I think I'm gonna head that way. I want to take a look at those ruins. Uh, it'd be easier if we all stay together. At least there shouldn't be any problems at the ruins. I want to check them out too. Mind if I take along? <coughs> sure. Later, Fox. <coughs> See ya. I would follow the guy, probably. Yeah, anywho. <coughs> so let's actually end the episode here. And tomorrow we'll continue our journey in Vitalia. So yeah, for now, hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. Bye-bye.